I'm just going to go through uh, the basics of the meter. There's one right up here, and it's going to turn itself on here shortly, I'm sure. Um, so these are a really accessible option for us. A large, well-lit screen. It can talk to you, or you can read it. It can also communicate in multiple languages. Um, it has a help button, so it can talk you through the steps of using it. Um, and then it goes through the payment process, so the credit card can be used at the meter instead of having to have a smartphone, putting the app on your smartphone, linking it to a credit card, and then paying for the meter. So it kind of eliminates that whole step. You could still do that option, but you could also just pay for it. Um, and then you also have a call button to communicate either with the police department or our parking enforcement officers. They're extremely flexible um, in looking at the different options that are out there to get the level of customization that we kind of talk about with our specific, every city has very specific parking policies that they want to keep the same or a level of customer service that they want to provide. And in looking through the different options, this has been one of the most flexible that we've found. Um, in the case of these, each meter gives you a five minute buffer. So you don't have the situation of pulling up to the meter and you're getting a ticket before you had a chance to get out. You have five minutes to get them then in there. Uh, if you get to forget to pay or you stay longer than you plan to stay, the meter shows you how much time you used and you can pay for it after the fact. So those honest mistakes are honest mistakes and they're not going to get you a ticket. You can pay for your time. And you only pay for what you use. Uh, still maximum time limits apply, so if it's a two hour, four hour, 20 minute district or area, then that still pertains. But if it is an honest mistake, honest mistake the meter allows you to correct that mistake. This also gives us a lot of data. So right now we don't have use, data on usage of our meters, time of day, um, length of stay at those meters. This will also recognize unused spaces and populate the data in real time on an app. Um, so when there's an event going on downtown, people can see, oh, there's lots of parking here, or there's, this block is packed. I'm not even going to drive that way. I'm just going to go this direction. So people can make more informed decisions. Um, it also gives us information about the usage times, so we can see if we can support decision making uh, when we have the data to, to tell us. You know, these, these meters are actually only getting used for 20 minutes. They could probably be a 20 minute meter, or this one's being used for three hours every time, and it's marked as a two hour, and we're having a lot of violations. Is that really what it needs? Let's talk to the business owners, take the data, have that conversation. Right now, we don't have the data. We have people to talk to, but nothing to support those decisions. Um, also gives us vacancy and revenue rates by meter, so we'll know the most profitable areas and um, what's actually being used and when it's being used. Again, allows credit card, coin, and phone-based transactions, so puts us one step further ahead than where we are right now. It can recognize your license plate and work with the concierge app to match your car to your space. So if you are set up in the system, you don't even have to touch the meter. It knows that that's your car, and it just takes care of taking the payment without you having to touch anything. Um, yeah. It also does the same things that our current app does by notifying you if you're getting low on your time. But again, you still have the option to always go back and pay for what you parked. Um, so this shows the, I kind of went through this a little bit, but it does, rec the meter recognizes your plate. So it has license plate recognition, knows that it's your vehicle, starts monitoring the time that you spend there. If you don't pay for your time, the parking enforcement officer isn't out writing a ticket the meter is going to notify the enforcement officer that a violation has happened. The human being parking officer is still issuing the ticket, but they're being notified through the system to, to issue that. And then it's mailed. So what we're here to talk about today is a 30-day temporary installation. Um, no cost to the city to do the installation. We receive all the revenue and we receive the data to help us understand if this is an option that makes sense for us going forward. So it is a temporary pilot, so the installation does not involve infrastructure changes. These meters will be lined up with our existing poles. We'll take the meter head piece off, but the pole will still be there. So it'll be like a two-pole set up with one of these next to it. Um, and then when the pilot is over, we put our heads back on and we, we keep operating as normal while we make decisions and share the information that we gather with you. So I'm, I have images of the locations, and I think you all have this in your packets. Um, but just to highlight again, this is the location uh, in front of Graham's. This is the location um, near the, the over, I can't think of the business that's there, McCoy Jewelers, and then um, down in the Millwork District. <clears throat> 